All right, guys, welcome back. And you're probably looking at the title of this video and you're like, what the heck is Retro Bowl? So last week when I took a week off from streaming, I was going through the app store because I had some downtime and I go to the sports section of the gaming part of the store and I see Retro Bowl at number one. I'm like, this game looks like it's from like the 80s. Like really how fun can this game actually be? Well, I go look at the reviews and they're all like five stars. It's like 4.9 star rating on the app store with like millions of downloads. I'm like, how long has this game been out? It's been out since 2020. Like, how am I just now getting around to this? Some of you guys that may know the game are probably like, Jay, how did you just figure this out? I don't know. I just started looking around and I saw it. So I was like, I'll give it a try. Let, let's just play it and see. I've literally been playing, non, playing it nonstop. I'm just addicted to it now. Like, it's seriously super fun. You get to build your own team and there's a bunch of little interactive stuff that comes in, like the draft and then certain situations you're put in. It's actually really, really fun. And it's very, very simple. But it, yet it's so much better in my opinion than like Madden Mobile. I mean, that was good back in the day, but it's just not the same anymore. And then Madden on the PlayStation and Xbox, it just, it just blows those games out of the water. And it's so simple. It's literally like, I think they call it like 1987 sports throwback or something. Like the graphics literally are like that, but it's super fun. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, so we're gonna be starting a whole new series on the channel regarding this game. We're gonna be starting from scratch. I've been playing on my phone, but I'm playing on the computer for this. We're gonna be starting a whole new coaching career and going to a random team. You guys will see why. It's a lot more fun to go over to a random team. And if you click here, it'll tell you, it's all about building a legacy, obviously. I mean, we're trying to build this up. We're trying to win Super Bowls, like Coach Saban wins national championships at Alabama. But we're gonna be starting with a random team because it tells you here, it'll be a simple story. We want it to be complex. We wanna build our way up to eventually be with the Seahawks, my favorite team. So we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna turn that off. I'm gonna choose Seattle as my favorite team, obviously. They have been trash in real life. They brought back Russell Wilson way too soon last week, in my opinion, from his little um, finger injury with his ligament. Actually had his worst graded career game by Pro Football Focus last week as well. So I think they brought him back way too soon. He looked really rusty too, obviously. Been out for four or five weeks. DK, I took the, I have his jersey. I took the jersey off immediately at the end of the game because why are we grabbing face masks and throwing punches down 70 to nothing? You grabbed more face masks and threw more punches than we had points. Come on, dude. Like that, that really got under my skin. Like I, I like DK, but man, like, come on. You, that just, that makes me look bad. I have your jersey, bro. Cause so let's go ahead and get straight into this. Let's see who we go to. So Las Vegas, we're taking over the Raiders. We are replacing Gruden. After all those emails and stuff, we are now the new head coach. It makes sense. And we came from Sanford. That does not make sense. Why would they hire a coach from Sanford? It's probably because it's Jake. So let's do this thing, baby. Let's do this thing. I'm so excited. All right. So in year one, we are taking over in week 18 at Denver. We are four and 12. We are off to a hot start. And then ever since Gruden got fired, just been downhill since then. Haven't been able to recover. So they brought me in. Hopefully to change this around and rebuild the culture here in Vegas. Our coach... Our offensive coordinator is Roach Halfstar. Defense coordinator is Lino Halfstar as well. Brutal, but it's the cards we were dealt. Offense is an overall one star. Defense is an overall half star. Brutal as well. Hopefully we can rebuild that quick in the next few years. We have the first pick in the first in all the rounds of the next draft, so that's good. We're gonna be signing some absolute studs. We're way low on salary cap. I feel like we're trying to do some money ball, something like the athletics with Brad Pitt and all that stuff. Obviously, it's not working. Stadium's at two bars. We're not taking care of the stadium and we're not providing a good experience for fans, so I doubt they're showing up. It's probably like the Chargers when they're at the soccer stadium and before they went to the stadium they're at with the Rams in LA now. Training facilities are two bars, so we're probably not developing anyone right now. We're probably making players worse, honestly, with how low that is. Rehab facilities are at one bar as well. That's awful. I mean, seriously, if you get hurt on my team, you're probably, it's probably a career ending injury, no matter what the injury is, we'll probably make the injury worse as well. So we need to build that back up. That's not cutting it. Roster, Kaz is our quarterback. He's a two and a half star, pretty good throwing accuracy. He's already has max potential. Swain, running back, he can go up another half star, but he's almost at his max potential as well. He's pretty quick, but no strength. And I like running backs like Marshawn Lynch. Uh, obviously I'm a little bit biased towards Marshawn Lynch. He played for the Seahawks. Rag, our, our star wide receiver is only one half star. He's at his max potential. Doesn't have any standout speed or anything. He's just an average wide receiver. A kicker, doesn't really matter. He's already his max potential. We don't kick much in this game. We will pre pretty much always go for two-point conversions and then build our defense alignment. He's already at his max potential as well. Strength is really good, but he's super slow. Eating way too many Twinkies, not getting to the gym, working out, getting cardio in or anything. So we're going to be replacing him eventually as well. But let's go ahead and get into this. I'm really excited, and I think I think we're gonna be able to win this last game of the season. They only have a two and a half star offense, but they have a really good defense, so we're gonna be tested in the first game. We're gonna be seeing the kickoff. Let's see where we get it. 
So we take over at the 33 yard line and I think we're gonna have to try out our, um, maybe our running back. No, we're gonna go to out to our star right receiver. Probably a bad throw, yes, good coverage right there. Not any really good routes, but I think we're gonna go hit the post right here. And actually, no, we're gonna, we're gonna hit our uh, no name wide receiver right there. I mean, he is an absolute stud, he has some good speed. He just, he cannot truck anybody. I think we're gonna go to our wide receiver, Rag. Okay, there we go, Rag. Is that a touchdown? He's breaking away. Those defenders must be super slow because he's not even that fast. Let's go, Rag. Let's get that started. 51 yard touchdown. Let's go, baby. Okay, Rag, I see you. Well, I mean, look at that offensive line right there. I mean, they didn't even get past the line of scrimmage. I mean, that's like the Dallas Cowboys back when they were 13 and three with Zeke in his, like, his first season or two. I mean, that line was something else. That's uh, that's promising right there. That's promising. Two point conversions only. Normally I hit the running back out of out of the backfield. He's normally always open. That's easy money for Swain. We're getting everyone. We're getting the star players involved today. You know it. So Denver gets the ball. What are they gonna do with it? Short of first down. It looks like they're gonna punt. Where are we gonna get this ball? All right, we got it midfield. We're taking over at the 46. Doesn't like they're gonna send any pressure right here. We might have that crossing route. Yeah, we have the crossing route that right there. And yeah. Well, I'll take the first down. I don't care how we get it, but either it's way, it's okay, it's okay. I believe his name is Swain. I keep forgetting his name. Crossing route, Rag is just, he's where it's at. He's where it's at, stiff arm, let's go. Rag is something else. Sorry, he's not gonna be on the team after this, probably this season, but either it's way. I mean, he's still making them pay today. He's still making them pay. Let's see, can we get the crossing route here, right here? No, no, oh, no, no. I wanted to go the running back. He got caught up in the line. That is, that's, you hate to see it right there. Throws it, incomplete. Looks like we're gonna get the ball back as well. Denver is, they're just struggling. They only have a two and a half star offense and we're making this four star defense look like it's nothing. I know the difficulty is not that great yet. It's our first game, but either it's way, gotta love it. They're sending the pressure. We at least got a first down and no, no, three yards right there. I mean, he didn't drop the ball. I was trying to hold it long enough to get it to, to, uh, to rag, but we ended up getting Swain. Either it's way, I'm not gonna complain. We're not gonna complain right there as, at all. Crossing route right there is not there. Get it to him over there. Wide open, left out there. They lost them. No name scores a touchdown. No name scores a touchdown. I love it right there. I mean, look how good this line is. We had all day. Our One of our slowest receivers was able to get to the other side of the field, get lost, and score a touchdown. I mean, this line is, I'm loving it. I'm seriously loving this line. We're gonna go ahead. Can we get this to the running back today? They're all just sitting there. We throw it up, let's go, baby. Let's go. Like a Hail Mary from the two yard line. Just throw it up and see if we can catch it. Three, three and outs for, for them. I mean, they're having a rough day today so far. It's okay though, I like that. We're up 22 to nothing. We're not even at halftime yet. We're gonna go deep to Rags right here. Actually, no, we're not. They're covering that. Running back Swain, easy money first down, I believe. Let's see, let's go out there. Off route, and the no-name is gonna get another touchdown. No-name is going hard in the paint today. He is going hard in the paint. He is making himself a name today. He is making a name for himself today, even though he's a no-name. Two-point conversion, and out of the backfield. It's there, it's there. Easy money for Swain. Swain is our two-point specialist. Easy money out of the backfield. Okay, so we have the ball in midfield again. Great starting position again for like the 37th time today. And Swain just out of the backfield. It's something else. Swain is something else out of the backfield. They, they just, they don't pick up on him. They don't have anyone spying or anything. Will we be able to get one more play in? I don't think we will. We're gonna test out our kicker's leg strength today. Is that gonna be good or is it short? And he drills a 47 yard, sorry, one and a half star kicker. Coming in clutch at halftime, let's go. So we're kicking off the second half. Let's see if Denver can do anything or are they gonna have another three and out. They're looking like Seattle last week and they are short of the first down again. They're going forward on fourth down on, oh my goodness. We intercepted the pass and we have it on the 19. Slant a route up four up for Rags and they do and they leave it wide open. I mean, that's an easy touchdown for our star receiver Rag. I mean, Denver's, they're just having a bad day altogether. They, they can't get anything. Their four star defense is getting torched. I, I just. I, I really don't know what else to say right now. Back corner of the end zone, and we, I released that way too soon. I, I, that's painful, that's painful. And Vildor got a huge sack. Let's go, Vildor, let's go. Our, our star defense alignment gets a sack today. Love to see it, love to see it. Looking promising today, looking promising today. 
Crossing route, Rags is there. We got the first down, let's go, let's go. He never gets tackled on the first tackle. He always makes a miss on the first tackle. Stiff arming and everything. I'll take the first down. And not every play needs to be a 30 yard touchdown, even though I want it to be. They got the safety over top. Oh, that's not where I wanted that. And we threw an interception. I really sat way too soon. That was awful. That was all on me. I wanted to go to the running back and I waited way too long. And I didn't get that far enough out there. That is, that's bad, that's bad. Builder was too slow. He's been, like I said, his speed is way too low. He's been eating too many twinkery, Twinkies. They're going for it on fourth down again. Interception again. Why would you go for it on fourth down again if you know that when you throw that, it's probably gonna be an interception. Both times I've gone for it, they've thrown an interception. Come on now. We're gonna hit the out route to no name. To no name right there. And he drops the ball. That's why he's a no name. Even though he has two touchdowns, that's exactly why he's a no name. What do we want to do here? I was trying to get to him. We just didn't have enough time, sadly. Running back was there and Rag ends up catching it. I don't even know how. And that's a breakaway touchdown. Rag, I'm just, applaud Rag today. I mean, he has been going hard in the paint, hard in the paint. I meant to go to the running back and he ended up coming around, going after that ball. He wanted to score. He wanted to, he wanted that ball more than Swain did. So, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Rag, do your thing. Two point conversion. Let's see what we want to do here. Back of the end zone, rag, let's go. Easy money. We don't even need him coming across the middle. Do that little fadeaway play. Holy cow. <laughs> Every time they go for it on fourth down is an automatic interception. Why would you do that? Do we have time to get to rags today on this blitz? I don't know. Running back, is it there? Swain, ah, oh, we ended up diving. I did not mean to dive. We got the first down at least though. And they're trying to keep that safety on him, which I don't blame him. I mean, he's been torching them today. I mean, they've been getting, to be fair, they've been getting torched by our no name and Swain with another touchdown right there, diving in, absolutely destroying them. I love it. Love seeing this. This is how you end the season. You you go off this momentum in the off season and in the next season. I mean, it's it's gonna it's gonna be a promising team next year. I can tell you that for sure. So obviously going for two, no mercy here. Rag, easy money. And he does not catch the ball. Rag, come on now, come on. Will we have time to get it to Rag on the post? And he, it's there, it's there. Rag, let's go. Okay, 15 yards right there. I was hoping he could break both of those and score, but sorry to lose yards right there. Either it's way, we're getting a first down right here. Let's go, Rag with another touchdown. Oh my goodness, baby. Rag is just dominating today, dominating this four-star defense. Let's go. Two-point conversion, hashtag no mercy. Hashtag out of the backfield running back. Oh no, interception again. We didn't get it out. That's my problem. When I want to go to when I want to go to rag and then I kind of like bring it short to the running back Swain, we release it too soon and we don't get it over top enough. That's just that's my bad. That's my bad. We're going to Swain. Can we score? Ah, we're short. We're short. We won't be able to score. So we're gonna finish that game. 59 to nothing. We did throw an interception. We threw an interception on two-point conversion. That's my bad. Not getting it out further enough to the running back, but either way, I'll take it. I'll take it. So 59 to nothing. We finished the season five and 12. Kansas City obviously finished the top 11, five and one. Pretty much realistic in real life. They're starting to find it in real life as well. Results. So Kaz, 423 yards passing, eight touchdowns. Did have an interception though. Brad is rating down to six. Swain, 148 yards, one touchdown. Went hard in the paint, rating 10. Rag, 211 yards, five touchdowns. Went off as well, rating 10. Vodor. He did okay, he had a sack and he had some tackles in there, but like I said, he's just not been working out. He has not been taking care of his body. He's been eating like crap. Kicker did well, I mean, he did his thing. He had a 47 yard field goal. We we don't kick though, we didn't, we don't kick. I really, just really kicked right there as well to show you guys what the kicking looks like. So, so we finished the season, like I said, at five and 12. We are done with the regular season. Let's go ahead and see who wins the Super Bowl. So let's go ahead and skip and Cleveland wins the Super Bowl. They must have had so many riots, so many things must have been burnt down. The Browns won the Retro Bowl. Like, the, uh, seriously, if this happened in real life, I seriously think the city would just explode. So, wow, what a crazy year. Gruden gets caught in a scandal, we take over at Vegas, and then Cleveland wins the Retro Bowl. Like, the world must be ending. But that's, I mean, that's okay, that's okay. That's cool to see um, Cleveland, obviously, and they beat Tampa Bay, they beat Tom Brady. Wow, Cleveland beat Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. Like, not only did they win the Super Bowl, they beat the GOAT. They beat Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. That's crazy right there, holy cow. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for the first video on Retrovo. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did and you want to see more, please leave a like and comment. I would highly appreciate it. Next video will be the off season and the first game of year two with the Vegas team we just took over. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time.